The 10 Books That Are In Every Rich Man's Bookshelf There's a well-established correlation between rich people and their reading habits. Whether you're a self-made millionaire, a CEO of a multi-billion dollar company, or a well-established celebrity, books help you reach and stay at the top. Here are the 10 books that are in every rich man's bookshelf. 1. Books about their heroes and mentors the rich have always had people they look up to and those that made them push through the tough times in their businesses and startups. For example, Elon Musk has always seen Benjamin Franklin as one of his heroes. The book Benjamin Franklin, An American Life is inspirational. It's a book about how this great man shaped the identity of America and also a billionaire. Elon Musk described how much he was inspired by Franklin's success, even though he's living in a different age. Franklin's success in entrepreneurship inspired him to be who he is today. Franklin started with nothing, and Musk relates to that as well. Another book that the wealthy Elon Musk relates to is Howard Hughes's book called His Life in Madness. Both Musk and Howard are obsessed with the innovative transportation solutions. 2. Books about investments Warren Buffett stated that reading The Intelligent Investor was one of his greatest decisions he ever made in his career. The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham serves as a mindset guide for a successful stock investor. For first-time investors, it can be hard to read because of the financial terms, but it's a great investment book. Did you know that at Columbia, Benjamin Graham was Warren Buffett's professor? Buffett went ahead and scored an A-plus in Graham's investment class, and he was the only student to ever score that grade. Warren Buffett also swears by the book called Security Analysis. The book is surpassing for new and intermediate investors. It talks about the legacy of a great investor and thinker taking over the most complex aspects of investing and quantifying them. From this book, Buffett appreciated his investment success and valuation skill. Mark Cuban described one book as the one that truly made sense to him. This book is The Only Investment Guide You'll Ever Need by Andrew Tobias. The title probably inspired him, but diving deep into the book, you'll find out how the investor is put in the driver's seat and not the market. Three self-improvement books. Self-improvement books are a must-see in rich people's bookshelves. Warren Buffett explains how the book How to Win Friends and Influence People changed the courses of his life. The Rosie Effect by Graham Simpson is one book Bill Gates treasures. He said it reminded him of relationships, how to invest your time, money, and energy into making relationships healthy. Charlie Munger swears by a book authored by Robert Cialdini called Influence, The Psychology of Persuasion. This book had a great bearing on his thinking. The book shows the ways the quirks of your mind can prove dysfunctional to one's best interests. Given that Charlie Munger is an extraordinary thinker, this book is a definite must-read. The Conspiracy of Fools by Kurt Eichenwald is also another book Charlie Munger has in his bookshelf. The book is about how ordinary people become sucked into the evil environment around them. Charlie describes the evil in the book to be very extreme. Mark Cuban has a book on his bookshelf called The Innovator's Dilemma. It wasn't before he read it that he understood why some things work and some don't. Cutting Through Spiritual Materialism is a book Steve Jobs highly recommended. This book takes a critical view of a path to self-development. Once you read it, you learn to not be sidetracked during your development. You'll also learn to remain focused in the ever-changing world. 4. Their Own Books Rich people have their own books in their bookshelves, describing a lot about their lives. For example, Letters to Shareholders was written by Warren Buffett. The book has a myriad of information, documenting decisions he's made since he began his journey. The number of insights in the book has led to it receiving so much positive feedback. Mark Cuban also wrote the book called How to Win at the Sport of Business. The book is filled with business lessons that entrepreneurs will find useful in their path to success. His book is insightful as it explains how businesses advance over the years and not about how much you squeeze out of a deal. Mark Cuban built and sold a business worth billions of dollars. His book describes his skills and luck that he's had in business. Another one is Peter Thiel. He wrote his book called Zero to One. He didn't plan to write it, it just happened. His book has a series of lectures on entrepreneurship, technology, a diligent student, and competition at Stanford University. His argument on how capitalism and competition are opposite is brilliant and insightful. His universe of business and technology is drilled in his book. Lastly, Charles Koch reveals his secrets to success in his book, titled The Science of Success. His book is a training manual that's both helpful and insightful in building a successful organization. 5. Books in their field of work slash their passion The rich enrich themselves by reading about what they love to do. 
For instance, Capital in the 21st Century by Thomas Piketty is a book that Bill Gates has been amazed with. The book shows the problems with inequality in the world. Gates even told Piketty that he had concerns about the policies he described in the book. Gates also praised him for sparking this discussion globally. Bill Gates, through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, wants to make the world a better place. Gates mentions another book by Vaclav Smil called Making the Modern World, which provides catastrophic data and results of people's increased usage of material, wood, plastic, silicon, cement. If this book has gotten Gates thinking, it will do the same for you. Elon Musk's passion drives him. It drove him to study the book Tesla, Inventor of the Electrical Age, by Bernard Carlson in detail. Elon Musk's passion is no different for this book. Jeff Bezos mentions a book titled Built to Last as being significant in building the culture of his company Amazon. This book explains how the identity of a company leads to a successful company when you embrace the mission. 6. Financial Books Books about finance will never be far from their bookshelves. For example, The Gospel of Wealth is a financial book that Mark Cuban used as a reading assignment when he was studying his MBA entrepreneurship. This book became his inspiration. Through the book, Cuban believes that displaying patriotism is to get rich and pay taxes. Another financial book Charles Koch has in his bookshelf is The Wealth of Nations by Adam Smith. It's a book that changed the way our society is built. The book explains why some countries build wealth and the factors essential for a country to prosper. 7. Business Books Rework is a book that Mark Cuban loves. He once said he would invest in someone that has read Rework than one with an MBA. Rework delves on the vitality of focus for any entrepreneur that's begun a startup. He greatly recommends this book for startup businesses. One of Steve Jobs' favorite business books is Only the Paranoid Survive by Andrew Grove. The book talks about the transition of a company's competitive position and how to adapt to it. This is one transition everyone in business will get to experience at a point in time. Jeff Bezos gave his executives two books to read. One, The Effective Executive. It's a book about developing personal habits like time management. It teaches executives to stay productive and be the best contributors to the organization. Number two, The Goal, a process of ongoing improvement. This book describes a manager tasked with turning around a failing manufacturing plant. The plot in the book isn't the most obvious, but one gets to learn how to run a successful business. Jamie Dimon sent his interns a reading list. One of the books was titled Straight from the Gut by Jack Welsh. Jack Welsh is one of the best CEOs of all time. His book talks about rebuilding a company with the right people. This is one book that anyone serious about doing business shouldn't miss. 8. Inspirational Books Steve Jobs has one inspirational book that he talks about. It's Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand. This book abstractly looks at the United States. It then investigates and explains what would happen if the most prominent and most successful people in the society left their fortunes and the nation as a result of an aggressive regulation. This next book called The Remains of the Day had a lot to teach Jeff Bezos. It's a novel that he didn't think would be perfect. It taught him about life and regret. Jeff Bezos says it's among his favorite books and that makes us pay attention. Life is What You Make It by Peter Buffett is an inspirational book that Jamie Dimon recommends. Peter Buffett, a son of multi-billionaire Warren Buffett, wrote this book because he realized he could do anything he wanted to, not because of money, but because he chose to find his way in life. If that isn't enough motivation for you to make it in life the way you want to, then I don't know what is. Mark Zuckerberg has The Giving Tree on his bookshelf. This book has a tale of sadness, gratitude, and conditional love. It has a powerful message and lesson of a mother's feelings as a child grows up and grows apart. 9. Spiritual Books Be Here Now is one book that changed Steve Jobs and his friends. This book is a guide to meditation. Jobs described it as the first and one of the most influential books about spirituality he's ever read. Jobs also studied Buddhism. From there, he practiced the art of meditation. Jobs was touched by the work of the first Zen masters to teach wisdom in the United States. According to Jobs, as much as you're searching to be close to Zen, you're completely missing out on what it's all about. All this is from the book called Zen Mind Beginner's Mind by Shunryu Suzuki. Another spiritual book recommended by Steve Jobs is Cutting Through Spiritual Materialism. This book takes a critical view of a path to self-development. Once you read it, you learn to not be sidetracked during your development. You'll also learn to remain focused in the ever-changing world. 10. Autobiographies My Inventions, the autobiography of Nikola Tesla, is a book that Larry Page loves. He read this autobiography when he was 12. He said he cried at the end of the book because he realized his brilliant inventor was a failure for failing to fund his research. The struggles Tesla went through in his book taught Larry Page that scientists have to understand business. Page also realized that he had to achieve a position that wouldn't be bounded by money to get his research and innovations out to the world. Another New York Times bestseller autobiography book called Surely You're Joking, Mr. Feynman, equally inspired Larry Page. 
The book is about a Nobel Prize winner who's funny and insightful with knowledge about life. Equally, Paige relates to the author Richard Feynman as they're very intelligent and with a curiosity that's not limited by boundaries. In conclusion, the bookshelves of the rich have numerous genres of books that they enjoy, learn, and grow from. Their lives and habits are intertwined with their success. The books they consume have their passion and motivation that are building them to be successful, innovators, and sane human beings. You can also adapt this lifestyle to be as successful as they are. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more amazing content. With that said, have a great day you guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.